Okay, our next project is to create some lids for this 90 gallon aquarium. So let's get uh, let's get right into that. Okay, we are going to cut the glass lids for the 90 gallon aquarium. And what we did is <clears throat> when I went to our local hardware store, they had this 18 by 24 sheet glass. I know it's pretty thin stuff, but trust me, it's super cheap and it gets the job done. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm using this on my 75 gallon aquarium and knock on wood, we haven't had any trouble. Except I didn't cut it last time. The hardware shop cut it for me. This will be my first time cutting the glass. So they only had one piece of this glass. Um, so the other thing that I bought was this very, uh, much thicker plexiglass. So I'm gonna try the plexiglass just to see if it works. Um, it's a little thicker than the temporary stuff that I had down there, but I'm hoping that with time and the, and the moisture, the heat from the water, that it doesn't uh, bow that uh, um, acrylic because I know that it can happen. So uh, let's just see. But if, if it works great, then I'll go back and get another piece of that acrylic. So, but um, time will tell. So we're gonna cut the acrylic piece first and then we're gonna cut this piece down because we need it to be uh, 22 and a half, right Carson? Yeah. 22 and a half by uh, 14 and three quarter. We need two pieces of that for the 90 gallon aquarium. So we're gonna, we're gonna get started. Okay. This is the tool I use to cut it. I have it secured down with a straight edge. And we are gonna put some good pressure on it. We are going to cut. Here we go. Good pressure. Probably cut that noise out in the video. It was very annoying. Here we go. We're about to see if this is going to be a success or a fail. Yep. Ready? Ready? One, yep. two. Oh, that's a fail. That was a big that fat. That scared me. That was a big fat fail. I wasn't even close to snapping off. Wait, Daddy, aren't we gonna uh, use a saw? You know what? I've only, I've never, oh, damn, that was, maybe this doesn't snap like that thin crap. Maybe I actually have to cut this with a saw. That's what I just said. Cut it with the saw. That did not work. I was supposed to, I've, I've cut tons of pieces of acrylic and they just snap. Yeah. But that is really thick. So I tried to snap that glass after I scored it. This plexiglass, it's an acrylic sheet. I've done this hundreds of times with thinner sheets, but this is pretty thick, so um, it did not snap. Although I got a nice score line in it, it uh, it didn't do anything. So I'm gonna cut it with the saw. piece cut. I have the plastic uh, protector stuff on here. I'll just peel this off and it'll be nice and sh clear. Um, I'm just going to scrape this. Uh, looks like it kind of melted from the saw a little bit. So I'm going to scrape these pieces off. Oh, there we go. Yep, there it is. And that's that. That's the piece. So I'm going to go... Uh, well, let me cut the other piece of glass. We'll just take them down there together. So, okay. I have never cut glass before. So, we'll uh, see how it goes. Could be a disaster. It could be, it could be, eight, could be out $8 here if I mess this up. So, 
we'll see. All right, so that's that. Perfect, perfect. And I bought this. Let me read the directions. It says, cutting instructions, cleaning the glass thoroughly. Good enough. All right, we'll give her a whirl. So here's the line right here and here. So we'll all right, we locked her down. We got a little oil here. Dip the ball in the oil, it says. Okie dokie. Hmm. Can I just do that? As it turns out, you can just dip the whole damn thing in there. Okie doke. We'll make sure we put that up out of reach of our children. Okay. <clears throat> Pressure here. Oh boy. I don't know. We'll see. There's the wheel, right? And pressure and. And ready. It says do not attempt to do it twice. So I won't. Gently lift up the glass. <laughs> Gently lift up the glass. And cut the, and tap the underside. Okay. Like this. Yeah, that's not gonna cut. That's not. Did I not do that right? I mean, I put a fair amount of pressure on there. I truly did. I did not do that correctly, I don't think. I hate to waste a piece of glass. I hate to mess it up too. So, if it... Yeah, that is not cutting. That did, I did not score that deep enough. Okay, it says not to do this, but I'm certainly going to do it again because I do it on this side. I don't know. What if I cut it too big? No, here we go. Here we go. Firm pressure, pressing down. So it just kind of broke anyway. Oh, I'm going to cut that piece off anyway. See what happened there? I don't know if you can see it in the camera. 
See where I cut that? Well, that side's coming. Okay, cool. This could still work. <sighs> let's see. So, meanwhile, let's get these sharp pieces of glass out of here. Put the broken glass right in there. Okay, all right, let's try round two. So, maybe I should take it off this cardboard. Let's put this on. using very firm pressure. Here we go. Now I'm pushing firm here on my left and firm on my right. Here we go. Firm. Ah, damn it. Well, that was firm pressure, people. That was very firm. Now, if I remember, it said, pick it up. I know I'm getting a cut out of this deal. And it said, tap it. Right? From underneath or was it on top? Son of a bitch. That was easy. Look at that. Cool. Put that there, dangerous piece of glass. Away from the children. I am going to take the edge that I cut, which is this edge. I'm going to Gently just kind of give her a little sanding on the edge here. Yes, of course I'm thinking that I might cut myself. to make sure that this is semi-smooth in case my kids decide to open this lid and grab it the wrong way. I'd rather take the hit myself here to know that it's done right. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. I saw a Home Depot guy do it. That's how I'm doing it. I have these temporary pieces of plexiglass that were uh, on the tank. These were really easy to cut, but look how thin it is, right? So that was really simple. 
And I had this as leftover material from an, another project of some sort. So anyway, whatever. Uh, and here is where it's going. This is a temporary, um, I happen to have, I was just using it to get some uh, more beneficial bacteria in the tank. This little, this is probably, what is this, a 206, a 306? What is this? That's a 206 for Fluval, and I use it on one of my smaller filter, uh, smaller aquariums. And then, of course, I just threw it in here um, because it was good and uh, seasoned and lots of beneficial bacteria, and it was all ready to go. So I just put it on here temporarily to help get this tank started and cycled. Well, at least in my mind, that's what I why I did it. Um, so I got to I got to move that in order to put the glass on. But anyway, let's uh, let's try it. So let's try the glass glass. Okay. Oh boy, that looks like it might be a little tight. Oh boy, is that gonna fit? Oh, perfect. All right. Perfect. And that's an $8 lid right there. I know, you can't, it doesn't have to flex in the middle for you to open it, um, but I can work around that. So I have the space in the back where I feed the fish from, and then I just take this off if uh, I need to do maintenance to the tank or my water changes. So um, for me, it's a cheap way to save on the very expensive lids, like these ones over here. Those are pretty pricey. Of course, they are nice. Nice thick glass. But for a temporary cheap fix that I can do myself, there's eight bucks. Now, the plexiglass one, I can't put on until I move this filter, so stand by. Okay, so I took this filter and moved it to another tank. And now let's put this piece of plastic glass on here to make sure that it fits. It should fit because it's the same exact size as that piece of glass. There it is. Now, yes, the plastic glass was a little bit more expensive than that pane of glass. So, eight bucks for the pane of glass and um, eh, I think I paid like $25 for this or $23 or something so um, but I did it on purpose because I wanted to know if this plexiglass would flex or how it would work out if I could use it as a lid so several weeks from now I will actually comment on this or make another post in this video or um, make another video I don't know but uh, I will update to let you know if this plexiglass works it's the thicker stuff so I mean it might um, and of course, this uh, this eight dollar sheet glass works fine because I have it. Well, it's behind here, but I have it on this aquarium, and I've had it on there since I got it. So, okay, there's the lids. Now I'm just uh, our next project moving forward will be the canopies. So we need to build the canopies for this ninety, and the canopy for this one fifty, and then over here and this is going to be I've got the stuff to turn this into a saltwater aquarium so we are going to um, this will be our next project too the saltwater tank so so thank you guys very much for stopping by to our channel again uh, if you're your first time person here go ahead and hit that subscribe button or give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment uh, let us know if you like anything that we did on our channel so hey listen we're here for fun our kids enjoy it I enjoy it it's our hobby we like to share it with people who uh, have a similar interest so um, that's it that's that, that's the whole goal of our channel is just to have a little fun in the hobby that we do and share it with other people so um, okay thanks again for being here uh, canopy builds are coming for the 90 for the 150 uh, the salt water setup uh, for the I think that's a 29 gallon over there so yeah that's what's next so if you want to check that out come on back check uh, check out our channel and uh, like I said maybe hit the subscribe button or hit the like and uh, stay up to date on what we're doing if if you want to so okay uh, we do appreciate you being here we'll see you